Ave Satanus. Hail Satan. Hail Lord Levi Hail King Lucifer. Hail Queen Le Leviathan. Hail Great Lord Belial. Hail to every wonderful demon and every wonderful demoness that there is in this planet. And there is in hell. My home when I die. Or if Father Satan chooses to take me otherwise. I just thought I'd do another video outside. It's a, it's still cold. It's like minus 15, 16. But at least it's uh, at least it's not at least it's not minus fucking 30 or minus 35. Because last week last week it was minus 42, which is fucking which is fucking crazy, in my honest opinion. Like that's ridiculous to have 10, you know. But but I guess you know, like it is, it is Canada. <laughs> it is Canada, right? So welcome to fucking Canada. Although I can't complain, I'm not, I'm not bitching and whining about it, now mind you, because it's only a few months in June, July, and August, and September, and probably May, that it will be like, that it will be like mine, that it'll be like plus forty with the humidity and stuff like that, right? Because the humidity in Ontario is like, gets really bad. And the majority of, the majority of it comes from the, comes from the states, right? Like it just blows up across the Great Lakes from Michigan and Wisconsin and places like that. And, but the last coal front we had blew up from the Dakotas, from the Midwest, blew up from the Dakotas and that. Now that was, and that was last, that was like four, three, four days ago. And it was like fucking cold, man. It was like fucking minus 40. And that's freezing. Now I'm not, I know I'm not here to do, be a weather man or anything. <laughs> but I just, uh, I'm just happy that everyone, I just hope everybody's having a great sin day. I hope everybody's having a great sin day. And I hope Father Satan is treating everybody well. Which I know he is, him and his wonderful demonic kingdom. And I'm happy that I'm having a pretty good day. It could be worse, right? No matter how bad we got it. The way I look at things, okay? And I don't know if anybody's going to watch this video or not. I really, if you do, great. If you don't, that's entirely up to you. Uh, but the way I look at it is, if somebody, you know, if you can get up in the morning... And you can hail Satan. You can thank Father Satan for another day, which is what I do every single morning. And when I go to bed at night, I thank him for another day past. What I do is, I thank him that I'm actually healthy and able to walk. Healthy and able to, to, to sit up, get up out of my bed, you know, go do things that a lot of people, that a lot of people can't do. Because they're either they're either crippled, like severely, either really really crippled, or or they're in a wheelchair for the rest of their life, or worse, they could be on their deathbed, right? That could be also, which really sucks for a lot of people. But that's the way life is, right? We're here one day, we're gone the next. Some people come in your life. Some people come in your life, you don't know why they're there. Some people come in your life, they're there for, you know, maybe a day. You might meet someone two or three times in your life, you know, and you don't realize at the time. At the time, you you know, you might hook up, see them once or twice or whatever. Might talk about, you know, general shit. Or what you think at the time is just general shit. And you don't realize that that person was putting you... You don't realize until after, maybe months after, you'd never seen that person just... Again, you start thinking about it, right? You start thinking about why you never seen that person or why you don't see them no more. Maybe that person's gone. Maybe that person moved. Maybe that person could be, could have, you know, died, anything, right? But the thing, that, the, thing that I, the thing that I think about when it comes to that is maybe that person was put in your life. Maybe Father Satan has placed that person into your life for that period of time, even if it was only an hour or even 30 minutes. For that period of time, for something. 
Like there was a reason why that person was placed into your life at a certain period of time. Which has happened to me a lot, right? I know, I know, because I've been, I've been there and done that. And, you know, that being said, Father Satan places people in our life, and his demonic divine do, our patron demons, place people in our life for certain things, certain reasons that we don't understand. Maybe for, maybe a year after, maybe six months after, we'll, and we might never understand why they were there, but they were there for a reason. No question. Father Satan don't put people in our life for no reason. Either to learn us a lesson, if it's a bad way, if it's in a bad way, or to help us in a certain way. And later on, we'll realize why. Later on in life, when we get older, or even maybe six months down the road, right? That's to, just just the way life is. That's what life's all about, man. You know. And Father Satan is right there with us every single day. So no matter how hard we got it. And I'm speaking as Satanists in general, theistic Satanists, traditional Satanists, spiritual Satanists, devil worshippers, demonologers, we're all the same. Uh, I honestly believe that Father Satan does things for us, and we don't, a lot of times we probably, probably don't even realize it, that it's being done. And our patron demons do things for us, or demonesses. Like King Asmodeus is after doing a lot of stuff for me, man. Like, he's my patron demon, and he has been for so long now. It's unbelievable. And I have his tattoo on the back of my skull. On the back of my dome back here. And I wear it proudly. Like, the only reason I have a hat on today is because it's cold. I don't want to end up with the flu, number two. I really don't. I don't want to end up with the flu. It's cold. And, uh, of course, I'm supporting the 81, too. But, <laughs> all in one process. But, that being said, I, uh, Father Satan puts things in our life, you know, for us to, like, sometimes he gives us hurdles. What I call hurdles. It, basically trials. Like, he tries us to see if we're pure. Like, Lord Satan tries us to see if we're pure and see if we are his true children. And he gives us tests, man. And sometimes the tests are hard. And we don't even realize it's a test. We just think we're being, having shitty run of luck. But it's not that at all. It's just Father Satan is testing us. And seeing if we'll pull through the muddy waters or what. See if we'll sink or swim. I choose to swim. And I don't choose to be with the guppies. I don't choose to be with the guppies. I choose to be with the fucking sharks. A fucking great weight. Or as we say, a wolf. A fucking timber wolf. I prefer to be a timber wolf or a great white shark. I'm not in I'm not in a fishbowl with a bunch of fucking guppies. If I am, I'll eat the fucking guppies, every one of them. I'll fucking devour every single one of them, bones and all. I'll swallow them whole. Well, actually, I might just grab them by the tail and flick them around a bit so I can torture them. <laughs> yeah, that being said, uh, I want to give a shout out to Michael Hudson. I want to give Michael Hudson a shout out, brother Michael. I think he's doing, Michael's 100% Father Satan's child. No question. No one can question that. And John, my brother John Ramsey and his, and his beautiful wife, I want to give a shout out to them too. Two of them are great. I think the world of both of them. They're great brothers and sisters. Beautiful brothers and sisters actually would be a better word for John and his wife. They're great. They're true Satanists. And I, I think the world of them, I respect them 100%. And I'd like to give a shout out to Maggie Gordon and her husband, John. They're, they're, they're great brothers and sisters. Maggie, I knew, Ma I knew Maggie and I knew John's wife and John for like fucking, I don't know how long, man, many years. Like years, and I mean years. Like not like a week, not like one year. I mean like ever since, ever since like fucking, uh, Ever since, like, what? Let me think. Ever since, uh, fuck, way back, like, 2006, maybe? 2005? Just after Facebook came out, actually. And it started, started to blow up. I knew Maggie, and I knew, uh, John Ramsey and John's wife. And then after a while, I got to know Maggie's wife. And Robert Frost, another one, a great brother. Uh, EA Coetting, 
another great brother. Uh, Indigo Priestess, another great sister. And she is amazing, the stuff she does. She's another one that is a walking encyclopedia. Venus Satanus, another person that I respect and love totally because she's a walking encyclopedia for Father Satan. Uh, let me think here. Uh, City of Quitting, uh, Robert Frost, Nitschke. Well, I think it's... I can't pronounce his first name, man. But he got two books. I know he got I know he got two books out. He, I, he probably got more. But I, I know I bought two of the books that he got out. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, ones that say... I can't remember the name of them right offhand. Sorry about that. But anyway, uh, another one's S. Connolly. She's a fucking walking encyclopedia, man. The stuff she got's amazing. Like, she got stuff that is totally amazing. And I think the world of her is a sister. She's a true demonologist. No question. And I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Yasmin. And I can't pronounce her last name. It's a Swedish name. She's from Sweden. And she is beautiful, man. She is a very beautiful lady. No question. And I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Sarah, I think it's not Navajo or something like that. I don't know. It's not Navajo because Navajo is uh, Indian. Uh, sorry. Native American. Sorry. Uh, Sarah, I can't remember her last name. It begins with Anne anyway. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to her and because she's a great, great child of Father Satan also. And I'd like to give a shout out to Mariel Guetti. Mariel's a great brother. I think the world of them. Oh, man, there's so many people, man, I could give shout-outs to. I could spend all day just giving shout-outs to my brothers and sisters, to my true brothers and sisters. Now, there's a lot of phonies, but I, the ones I named, I can guarantee you 100% on my life right now that they are 100% true to Father Satan and King Lucifer. And I can guarantee you that... I can guarantee you that uh, all of them are 100% true. I know that for a fact. And they, uh, all of my brothers and sisters I love. You know, I love, I love, and when they start out, when, when we start out on this path, we got to remember what, what I think a lot of us forget as we get, we grow in this path and years pass by and things like that. I think a lot of us forget that we were, we were, we were fresh to Satanism too. I think that we forget that we were fresh to father, fresh to Satanism. We were fresh to, uh. You know, we were fresh to doing things. We were fish. We were fish swimming in a shark tank first when we started. We were fish, little guppies. We were little sea fish swimming in the fucking ocean first when we started in this path. And everybody's like it. Everybody knew is like it. They're little fish. And it's up to the sharks to help the little fish. And I try my best to do it. And that's why that's part of the reason why I'm, that's 90% of the reason why I'm doing these videos. I do them because I want to help, I want to help the younger ones. I want to help the new people and the people that are old too, can, you know, because everybody, everybody got to start somewhere, right? So if any of my videos are helping anybody and I know one person, one lady for sure that they're after helping, I'm grateful, man. Father Satan gave me the privilege and he gave me this platform to do and I'm doing it. And I don't care who says what or who thinks what. I don't care if somebody thinks my videos are stupid or if I don't know what I'm talking about or whatever. They can go fuck theirself. Because I do know what I'm talking about. I haven't been a Satanist for 33 years and not know what I'm talking about. I can guarantee you that right now. I do know what I'm talking about. So anyway, obviously, I'm not going to get pissed, you know. Ave Satanus, hail Satan. Hail to every king and every, every queen, demoness and demon that there is. I love every one of my brothers and sisters 100%. Support 81. <laughs> Ave Satanas, Hail Satan, and I'd like to say, I'd like to thank every one of my brothers and sisters for being my brothers and sisters and helping me when I needed it. Thank you very much. In, in Father Satan's name, Ave Satanas, Hail Satan, Hail Lucifer, Hail to every demon and every demoness there is, Hail King Asmodeus. Until next time, peace out. Talk to you next.